it's me again Bree, and welcome back to my youtube channel and we are going to talk about in this episode the teaching demo and we are going to use the diy instructional materials that we have made and as you can see on my previous videos we there are instructional materials diy instructional materials and we are going to integrate it in our teaching demo for today so um this teaching demo we are going to teach students in grade one to two levels and this is a type of inclusive classroom why because there are students with special needs so we have to accommodate and cater their needs their individual basis so there are students who have adhd diagnosed with adhd autism spectrum disorder development to delay developmental delay and so on so there are students who have or who are not no, on the same level with their peers but again we have to accommodate them we have to assist them that's why our DIY instructional materials are inclusive for them to cope up with their peers okay so I hope you can stand by and watch my teaching demo all right let's go good morning kids hi hello how are you today good wow that's fine that's very good yes okay are you ready are you excited for our another lesson for today you do can i see a thumbs up yes yes very good very good okay so we have another lesson for today it's all about mathematics still it's all about mathematics but it's under under mathematics okay in our previous class we have talked about subtraction we've talked about other assets or other components of mathematics but today we are going to talk another lesson okay but before that we have to pray first okay so can i see everyone to do like this put your hands like this and then bow your head close your eyes and together let's put ourselves in the holy pres presence of our god in the name of the father into the son into the holy spirit amen Heavenly Father, thank you for this wonderful morning, Lord God. Thank you for gathering all the kids today in this classroom. Lord God, hope that you will guide us, me and my students, throughout the discussion and the activities. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Okay. So kids, do you have any idea what will be our lessons for today? Do you have any idea? You can raise your hands if you want to answer. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's all about something like this. Okay, now our lesson for today is all about basic. It's all about basic addition. Very good. Clap your hands. Clap your hands. Very good. Now we are going to talk about basic addition. I know you're all excited but calm down yourself and we will start now formally okay now before we go we are going to proceed to what is addition or what is basic addition let's talk about first the objectives of this session okay now we will talk first the first objective first is at the end of the session the students will be able to first Recognize the addends of addition. Now, later on, you will know what is the meaning of the word addends. Okay. Second is perform adding the following object, objects and numbers. So, you are, you are going to be able to perform um, adding objects or numbers. Okay. Third is to identify and solve the sum of the addends. So later on, we'll talk about what is sum and again what is addends. And lastly is to show cooperation throughout the discussion and the activities. Is that clear? Is that clear to all the kids in here? Yes! Okay, can I see it? Um, thumbs up if it's clear? Very good. Okay. But again, teacher B, just like what I'm always reminding you at our previous classes, I have yes i have three rules so anybody can still identify or familiarize or can still recall what are the three l's okay okay now first our three l's in our three l's rules our first is whenever a teacher is pointer pointing her eyes it means 
look at the screen and the teacher you have to look carefully you have to focus your eyes your attention to the screen to our electronic screen and to me to your teacher very good now what is the another 2l 2l rule it is whenever teacher is doing like this you have to very good you have to listen well to what teacher is saying so it means you have to listen throughout our discussion for you yes in order for you to answer all the activities oh yes so you, so you can get all the stars yes very good and what is the last l last l rule whenever teacher b is doing like this it means you have to learn to respect each other okay you have to learn to respect your classmates answer and as well as your answer and you have to respect me as your teacher so our L rules are clear can I see a thumbs up if it's clear very good okay now are you ready to proceed to our lesson it is you are okay but let's have an icebreaker first for our body to move okay okay now let's have this song one little two little three little indian okay now move your body okay one little two little three so excited to our lesson for today yes did you like the icebreaker you do yes okay now let's proceed to our lesson but first okay arrange your yes arrange your seats and sit properly and face to the board face to the teacher okay are you good all is good okay now let's talk what is basic addition okay all right now, as you can see on the board, there is a question mark asking, what is addition? Do anyone have a clue what is addition, kids? Oh, yes. There is something like this. There is something assigned like this. Yes. Okay. All right. Now, addition means it is an arithmetic operation which refers to taking two or more numbers and adding them together so basically it means that putting numbers together or putting objects together yes yes there is a plus yes plus so you're just going to put together the numbers and then boom there is addition <laughs> okay yes all right so what is addition again it is yes putting numbers together very good okay now let's take for an example here this is um an addition okay As you can see there is here all right so you can see here on the example we have here one and then the plus sign and then one and the equal sign and two okay so at this example we are going to identify where are the addends and where are and which is the sum and of course we are going to recognize the signs or the equation that is used in addition okay yes so let me ask you which numbers or where what numbers are the addends you think you what are your guess okay 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 so here kids listen well these two here are the addends okay because these are the numbers that is used to be added to one another they are being used to add to each other or to another number so whenever whatever they're placing is it may be 
first or second or second and first both of them are addends they are called addends very good so these two are our addends and this sign is, is yes very good this is the plus sign so whenever you see a plus sign it means addition automatically it means addition and this sign is it is the equals it is the result the result of this addition okay now what is this number is this an addend yes no okay no yes this number is not an addend or addends it is it is the sum because when you say sum it means it is the total amount total value of an addition of these two numbers that are added together or that are combined together so if you combine if you put this number together it will result to a sum again what is this number it is the sum what do you mean by sum kids it means the total amount of the addition very good okay now let's talk about again what is addends yes very good addends it is a number which is added to one another so whatever they're placing may be it will always be an addend okay and the sum is it is the total amount from the addition of two or more numbers okay very good now let's try something now let's try an activity okay now teacher we have here one apple and then teacher here again have another apple now if you will put them together how many apple are there two two there will be one two apples very good if you will use our finger again if we use our finger counting if i have here one and i have here one and then if we will put them together it will result to one two so it will be two apples so one plus one equals two very good again one equals two apples very good now who wants to try this here another example this is a banana a banana who wants to guess it is four bananas very good why because we have here we will count one two three four so it means one two three four four bananas because if you will add two plus two we have four two plus two put them together the sum is one two three four okay very good one two three four four bananas very good very good now you are all faster at finger counting right yes okay good job now let's clap our hands and very good very good now let's have another try okay now we have here instead of apples and balls and no apples and bananas we have here balls okay now teacher we have here three basketball balls and then here four basketball balls now what if you will add them together how many balls are there hmm? three and then four how many are there how many it's mm -hmm. yes seven balls if we want two three four five six seven basketball balls one two three four five six seven basketball balls okay actually we have another way of adding or doing addition here is it mm, okay so instead of using uh you know three plus four you're just adding them up we will do it like this you will find the greater value or the greater number between the two addends which are the greater okay the big one the big number it is four four and then our least number or smallest number is three so you will, you will just add them using your fingers so we have here four this is our great 
Yes, this is our greater number or amount or value. And you will just add three. One, two, three. So how many are there? Okay, count your, count your fingers. It is seven. So how many balls are there? Seven balls. Very good. Now let's try another one. Who wants to try? Okay. Okay. It is six pencils. Very good. It will be one, two, three, four, five, six pencils. If you will count them here, one, two, three, four, five plus one pencil if you count them one two three four five six six pencils very good very good grab your hands yeah very good okay now let's try the last um activity or last um yeah last example or last try okay now i have here oh you can see here zero yes okay so Listen carefully, everyone. Kids, let's listen carefully to picture. Mm -hmm. Okay, so whenever you see a zero number in addition, the total or immediately or automatically the sum of this equation will be 3. It will always be 3. Because 3 here, let's say here we have here 3 and then we have here 0. If you put, put, if you put them together, if you will add them together, zero will be eliminate, eliminated and then three will yes three will always be the sum so whenever you see a zero the yes the sum will be always the other addends so what do you think the sum of this this um example it is three three pairs zero pair plus one two three three pairs okay well, let's take four okay another example here who wants to try Yes, you. It's one ice cream. Why? Because we have here zero number. And every time we see a zero number in addition, the result or the sum will always be the other addends. Whatever, whatever they're placing may be, the next addend, yes, will always be the, the sum. Very good. So it always be one ice cream. Very good. You did great. Good job. Thanks, good job. Okay, now let's try another or something new. Okay, so let's try an instructional material here that teacher Bree have made. So I want you all to try this one. Kids, I have here. Yes, there is a board, something. Yes, we have here Mr. Red, the musician. And we have here something. Okay, now what we are going to do is early year we always show first the addends and then we will going to find the sum or to identify the sum so what we are going to do here is we are going to see first the sum and then after that you will have to provide what addends or what numbers are we going to use that if we will put them together it will always result to the given sum is it clear okay now teacher we have here the numbers okay so everyone will you okay yes everyone will participate and each one of you will put or paste a number here on the cardboard okay but before that we have here a musical notes of mr rad what will happen instead of using your fingers to count we are going to use these musical circle notes we count okay how will how are we going to use this let's say for example we will make a five okay we'll make a five now you have to place it on your table five notes okay everyone with you will have this one okay later on so you will have here five notes in each of your tables okay now we have here five notes okay now our sum will be five now you have to identify what numbers or what addends are we going to use so that if we will put them together it will always result to five okay what what numbers or what are the possible numbers you can see here on my hand there are two and there are three okay so two plus three it may yes it will always result to five very good however how about if we will group here four musical notes and here one note 
will it still be result five yes very good so it's easy right it is yes so do you understand is it clear can i see a thumbs up if it's clear okay so everyone will be of you will get a musical notes here okay here for you we'll get a note okay very good very good okay now let's take a look here on the cardboard again and now we will take hmm what some do you like <laughs> not some will be it's some the total amount okay we have here let's say nine we are going to make a nine okay so go 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 place nine musical notes on your tables nine and i will say okay sing sing here teacher will do it also nine musical notes three one two three four five six seven eight nine okay everyone did already did it already okay that's good very good okay now we have here nine musical notes now what do you think are the possible numbers or add-ins we can use to add and then it will always result to nine okay okay you eight and one okay eight and one let's let's see let's see one two three four five six seven eight plus one it is nine very good okay you put it here okay you put it here okay now it's eight okay very good and then one oh, okay so everyone look eight plus one will always result to nine very good kids very good okay now let's try something more who wants to volunteer? Hmm? Who? Okay, who wants to try more? Yes. Okay, how about? Uh huh, 5 plus 4. Okay, let's try the 5 plus 4. Now count on your musical notes. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then on the other group, 4 musical notes. Okay, you count it together. Is it 9? Is it possible if you will add 5 plus 4, it equals to 9? Okay, you put it here. You paste the 5 plus 4. Okay, 5, 5, and then 4. Okay. Here, 4. Okay, you paste it. There. So, 5 plus 4 is equals to nine very good okay last one who wants to yes who wants to try Val volunteer okay six plus three okay let's let's see on our musical notes on our first group we'll put six musical notes and the other group there are three musical notes okay and if you will add them together one two three four five six plus three one two three is it nine is it it is Okay, you paste it here. 6 plus 3 is equals to 9. Very good. Very good. Good job. Congrats. Okay, give yourselves a round of applause, please. Alright, congrats yourself. Very good. Yes, so I think you are all master. Yes, a math wizard because you are too good in addition yes very good very good okay someone yes yes so again let's do a recap again what are these these are these are the addends very good what is the sign it is a plus sign and then equals to what is this it is the sum very good again what is addends addends are the numbers added to one or to other numbers very good what is some some is not some will be some is some is the total amount of an addition of those two or more numbers that was or that is added together very good now let's clap your hands very good okay 
so for now since you are all a math wizard because you are very good in basic addition you can now proceed to your play area you can play whatever you want there are legos out there J yes yes you can play your gay your, your toys okay then after that we're going to back going back to the lesson and we will talk another lesson okay is that okay everyone okay you, oh you can also take your snacks okay very good mm -hmm.